Good afternoon and uh, hope everyone is doing great. Uh, welcome to the channel and uh, as part of today's success stories, uh, we are going to talk to Mr. Heyman. He worked in, uh, uh, he studied in 360 uh, Digit MG and then he moved to work with InnoData Techs and in Malaysia team. And uh, later on, he moved to Capgemini. Now he's working as a senior consultant with Capgemini. And I'm very happy, Hemant, to connect with you back. And uh, yeah, last time we met was in Malaysia. <laughs> uh, yes, I do remember the days when you when you came to Malaysia, when we worked together. So it was a great thing to work together as well. So uh, I, I would like to remember uh, many things uh, after joining and completing my course at uh, 360. So it was a great uh, uh, platform and a great learning, in fact. Uh, uh, every day we used to learn, uh, uh, even though it is a weekly uh, five days uh, or 10 hours uh, course. So there will be a lot of work, background work that we need to get ready for the next session. So probably uh, that help us to practically uh, think, uh, logically think and practically be prepared in advance uh, for any interview process. So the, the streamline and the structure of the course uh, uh, was neatly designed as well as but uh, uh, not much of theory concepts uh, like theory. Uh, anybody can get the uh, text uh, related documents and uh, theory concepts, but uh, making them understanding in a simpler way. So first session I attended, it's your session. So the day one, which I ready to made my notes, I have written, this is uh, Sharat's uh, uh, notes. So I have not written data science notes. Uh, I have written Sharat's notes. So that's that's like a it it was like completely to uh, make understand someone who doesn't know anything ABCD in data science or data engineering concepts. So uh, you you are being in that position, making them understanding, even though the concepts are very complex when we open Google or any other source in a browser. So so uh, the interest that you made someone to learn the things. So that is uh, more important. And as we proceed with the course, uh, uh, I would like to uh, uh, tell the assignments which you were giving and making us to uh, uh, mandatorily do that. So if someone is monitoring and making us to do work, only then we'll do work. So if not, uh, simply paying a, a fees, of course, and, and then uh, attending the session, uh, turning on the screen and going away, it's it's not uh, use use so yes. so and and moreover uh, rather than uh, um, listening to one way uh, after listening for some time we would get some uh, doubts so uh, what i was uh, doing is even if it is a simple one i would like to make a notes of that and then mark that as an important to ask in the next question so uh, i don't know whether you remember or not i used to raise my hands in the session for first 10 minutes and ask you the simple questions okay. and how simple and how uh, patience you are answering in that like you will be answering in different way you are making me to understand because you you were aware that this person didn't get that so i would like to tell in different ways so you will be prepared in five to ten ways of telling it so that teaching skill i've learned from you and also more patience <laughs> yeah so it feels like that right it, it's not a, uh, sharat it's not only you your entire team uh, yeah. from barani till uh, whatever the person who is working in uh, 360 so that dedication determination and uh, time commitments see uh, that one thing i just need to tell them like time commitment uh, when you are uh, 5 minutes late you you're not allowed for one session so that made a disappointment that i missed the session so one or two days 5 minutes or 10 minutes late every day you'll make us note like don't be late Time is precious. Discipline is important. Yes, that that point should learn everyone. Even though you are working, you are earning. When you don't have that discipline, so it's. 
they see whenever we are learning as a student um, that is one of the first commitment that we need to take on our own uh, self and that is also something that we try to impart uh, as part of the trainings it's as you mentioned right uh, people coming from different backgrounds uh, they need to be explained uh, the concepts that they are not familiar with i would like to ask you what is your education background what what where do you come from what is your domain uh my education background is pure technical like i'm b computer science uh m tech computer science so i cultivated my interest when i was a teacher for uh, engineering students so when i started my career as a assistant professor in one of the college engineering college so i used to see many students were struggling to understand the basic c language so yeah. they are they are uh fixing or they are uh, committed themselves towards only the syllabus not with understanding the logic thing so even when we try to take an extra hour to make them understand logically the people are so interested and sitting so we should cultivate that environment so that environment i found in 360 even even i uh, got some courses uh, some few hours courses from various other online uh contributors so but i didn't felt that they are uh, uh making this as their uh, um, uh business for making them aware for others who doesn't know anything as you said rightly the people will come and say i don't know anything in data science i want to learn so commercially 360 is not the place it's only pure learning exactly that's correct so we we are uh, right like you i mean you have associated with us from so many years so you understand how we operate uh, that's really nice that uh, you are you are conveying that to our audience also um, thank you so much for uh, right putting forward these messages the, the vision that we carry from 360 digit ng um, now let's let's talk about you uh, heman so yes sir now now you started your journey as an assistant professor that is non technical though your education is from a technical background your work experience was completely a non technical right from a teaching profession uh, you have transitioned yourself into um, an it profession now right you are a senior consultant in a reputed mnc so what are the kind of preparation that that you had to go through uh, maybe you might want to share your preparation tricks with our audience that will help a lot of people who are coming from different backgrounds also to manage their preparation to end up getting into a dream job that they are having yeah uh, transition is not that much easy for me uh, nowadays the competition is too high uh, for one place we will be getting more than 300 resumes one one yeah. one role so i i i had uh, experience two years in it experience i worked for anz uh, on mainframe platform so i got to understand the environment it environment what is the uh, competition in that uh, role or any other roles in it company so i set my mind whatever the struggle is whatever the difficulty is i just need to learn so since i don't have any experience practical experience or uh, project based learning skills i started searching for uh, many of uh, 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 people who will be uh, 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 educating ourselves for uh, project based learning so i found uh, uh, 360 then and i started learning uh, i gone through first syllabus and then understanding what are they are following uh, like assignments and then projects which is mandatory so i would like to highlight my point once they complete uh, uh, what is that course after submitting the assignments sincerely without uh, cheating so when they submit the assignments sincerely after they step into do the projects so there you need to more cautious and do sincerely contribute yourself even though it is small you you can contribute yourself and understand the whole design of the project because 360 is not only giving only one project option so they have multiple projects in hand they have sister concern companies they have tied up with many other companies 
there are so many projects in hand, but the resources are not available. See, I, I worked with Inodata Techs and I understood that we were working parallelly with two projects. Immediately after attending one project meeting, we used to join the other one. So the resources are not available just because they lack in the skills of handling the project based. So first, yeah. make yourself interest in the topic, subject, understand from A, B, C, D. Don't go to uh, 10th standard immediately. Go from first standard. It will take time. Six months, eight, eight months. Dedicate yourself in completing at least two projects. Highlight those in your resume and then approach interview. Don't go interview directly and attend and fail in 10 interviews and then say, I'm failing. I don't have a luck or I don't have trust on IT companies. They'll hire me. No, you should be prepared for everything mentally and uh, on resume, you should highlight your projects, even though it is a simple take, go get up, get up, uh, get a uh, links already done projects. Go through that. You do yourself again. And you will learn from where you have done. So my structure was like this. After immediately after the course, I used to write the assignment. Even I missed many assignments submitting. Uh, uh, sincerely, I'm telling data science and artificial intelligence, where I have uh, have to fetch from uh, other friends because of my co other commitments, which I couldn't do. But later I've gone through why my friend has done this assignment like this. So that also should be there. Even though if you are having that much of uh, lack in the times to submit the assignments after submission, please go through the assignments, how they have done, why they have done like that, what else can be altered so that you will learn. So every day we will learn many things like how I learned many things from Sharad, Bharani, uh, many others colleagues who worked with me. So uh, every day you learn from them. Don't show your ego's attitudes while learning show your ego's attitudes when you grow up after everything mm -hmm. so while learning take everything from everyone and make yourself structurized syllabus commit yourself learn project based don't go theory based even if you have small things ask Sharad. Sharad will definitely tell even if you ask 10 times and <laughs> Don't believe it or not, I still have the notes. That paper looks like 1950s paper. <laughs> now also I do refer those because I've made I that note. It. If I refer that, I'll remember everything recorded session. Yeah. Very good, that very good. Should be there so when you are. You have to summarize your points, Heman. Uh, um, I, I would probably have to say that you are basically hinting on projects. You are hinting on structured approach and maintaining rough notes. That is very, very important, right? And exactly. that is where uh, we provide mind maps, isn't it? We, we are sharing mind maps uh, for people to ensure that the quick reading can be done. We ensure people do uh, Excel documentation on the pro uh, the libraries that they are practicing on. So like, like uh, friends like Heyman mentioned, right? If you have consistent patient learning mentality, then you will have success. You'll have to be patient with it. It's not a magic. And living example, Hemant is there, right? So, uh, thank you so much, he, uh, so much, Hemant. Uh, you you uh, right, conveyed a very very important point to our audience. Uh, that is to have patience when we are learning new things, right? A lot of uh, newbies they they just finish their training and they say, hey, give me a job. The job is not a magic, isn't it? So please, please ensure that you practice enough, become competable to, to uh, competent enough to face the interviews. Then you try to approach for the jobs. That's the right way to crack an interview as well. So exactly and rightly so said, uh, Sharath. Thank you, thank you so much, Hemant, for your wonderful insights. Even, even I would like to remember uh, many, many people uh, during this time. Uh, who helped me in uh, understanding Tablet, Power BI, um, and uh, full stack web development uh, trainers, uh, uh, Bhargavi, uh, Sharad, Barani, AI session, 
so uh prasad sir i i would try to recall them because i have learned many things i have made my life and i'm earning something from them so i should recall them so it's it's not something like i uh paid for them and uh, i have learned that should not be we should give them gratitude in remembering at least telling someone that this is the right place go learn give your best they are not spoon feeding they are giving everything to you you should learn you should drink the water and they are ready to make yourself to go to near river so that is best thing what uh, 360 is doing and uh, in order to tricks also help me in uh, getting an opportunity to work with malaysia team uh, mingling with the uh, different people understanding their mindset adjusting to the environments many challenges living family away from uh, thousands of kilometers so it was great and we we would like to have family environment that was given by uh, inno data techs when we work together so it was not like your team lead your manager see barani used to sit with us uh, um, tag, uh, talk to us about the project immediately after the working hours he used to talk about uh, whom do you like in cricket <laughs> why why do you uh, uh, talk to them so this food is good this this is good this place is good you should visit you should go around so that much friendly nature or environment creating is something which is more important so in your data tics gave me that and that that uh, opportunity uh, made me to settle in some other mnc top mnc company like this so i should not forget the steps from where i came so i would like to remember both 360 and uh, inno data tics at this time thank you sir thank you so much for those kind words heman uh, see we are just trying to do our job and it's the hard work of an individual who is going to end up building a career for it right so you had put on all the hard work and that is the reason why you are successful and you should be an inspiration to a lot of young people who are trying to look up towards us that is the motto that we should carry and uh, thank you so much for sparing your time today and sharing your uh, important uh, insights to our audience uh, it's always pleasure to right speak to you hemant and uh, hope to meet you very soon uh, personally as well right so yes yeah. thank you yeah even when i i was happy when i got a call that we need to have a success story so i was expecting uh, uh, you as well as barani uh, together in the meeting so i thought like uh, i would like to have a chance to meet again sharath and barani so nice we will do <laughs> yeah thank you thank you so much hema yeah so please convey my wishes to everyone uh, those who are working in 360 and in audit attics so uh thank you so much for the opportunities what what you have given and also you are doing a great job mentoring uh, it's not only mentoring you are uh, motivating others to learn new things as well in a proper way right way so i would like to give a suggestion those who are learning in 360 uh, explore as much as possible sharath don't yeah. google it uh sharath have already done many background works so please explore or browse sharath <laughs> not really not really <laughs> thank you thank you uh, hemant uh, thank you friends for joining us and uh, yeah um, congratulations hemant for your success and uh, you should be an inspiration as i um, uh, mentioned and i wish that uh, right more more such success stories should come in uh, future by looking out uh, to us right that especially you your your success should uh, inspire a lot of other young kids thank you so much thank you so much sharath thanks for that